Hey, what's going on, world? You already know Global Music Magazine is in the building. Yo, this is KMB, and we're here live today at the Bronx Museum. You know what I'm saying? I got the pleasure to interview my man right here, Intercona. Yo, what's going on, player? Yo, we're here at the release of um, ABE's South Bronx Tale, and my man was here in the building, and you know, we wanted to ask him some questions so that way the fans could know exactly what he's doing and um, you know what you're working on right now. Well, first, I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, my name is Intercona, like he said, from the born and raised in the Bronx, doing a lot of work around hip hop, education with young people, and basically bringing a message to them about themselves, where they're from, what this place means as a home, and you know, just representing for our cultures, for our families, and our people. Yeah, that's what's up. So, you know, let's talk about like exactly like what kind of uh, music that ex you know that you're doing, and what kind of message that you're putting out there for like you know like the youth of mm -hmm. today. Well, everything is through the lens of hip hop, you know, poetry, film, theater, different works, but everything through like, what's it gonna take to get our youth out of certain situations? Because we recognize that there's a big force that is in a place to keep them away from success or whatever success may mean. We have a big history, you know, so uh, basically for the youth, the main message of the music is uh, learn, evolve, grow, learn about yourself learn about your culture, where you're from, because we think that's like the first step to even address in the world, and just basically try to do something positive. See, one of the reasons why we want to interview somebody like this, this young artist right here, is or not only, you know, he's not only an artist, but he's also a teacher, which is very essential in today, because, you know, we're in an age of ignorance, so artists like this, you know, is very uh, key, so that way we can have, you know, principles and morals in, in music, because this is his genre, so, mm -hmm. like, let's talk about some of your influences, like, who's influencing you, like, you know, from either past, present, or future? I think everyone has definitely inspired me, people that I've liked, people that I was like, oh, I'm not really feeling So who that. would be your, like, your favorite, though? Because I, I listen to a lot of things, I look at a lot of different things. Um, but studying hip hop from like, I don't know if we could say beginning, because it's like no exact official date, um, but you know, through the 40 ish years, or in the universe of Nation would say, you know, 39. But um, however, the history of hip hop, I would look at like Rock Him as a person that changed the way rappers spoke, um, the initial MCs, be it Busy B, or the initial people at the party. Um, but people that affected me, you know, like I grew up in the Bronx, so we listen to D Block a lot. It was like, okay. you know, certain artists. And even in terms of the message, a lot of what I do is like I work with youth that have been through really difficult, difficult situations. You know what I'm saying? You're from the South Bronx, so you, you know what it is. So what I'm trying to do is show them a different way, you know. So, like, let's say, um, what defines Intercana, the artist? Honesty. Sincerity, being real to myself, true to myself, you know, and hopefully to the best of my ability, consistency, you know, I think, or what I've learned from artists, even like, you know, some of the artists that have been around for 20 or more years, they've passed trends. A trend will come and they're still doing what they do, and then when the trend's done, the lens goes back to them, right? I've kind of seen that and I was like, you know, I, I want to be true to myself and I, I'm accountable to people, young people, older people. You know, I've even started working with like four and five year olds, introducing them to hip hop, storytelling. So it's like, you know, all those things like Slick Rick, the artist storytelling, mm -hmm. knowing like. So like, let's say, um, it's like, how would you categorize your, like your style, your style of music, like, you know? If you had to, you know, like categorize it, is it like, uh, you know, like, are you into like storytelling? Are you a revolutionary artist? You know, um, or do you consider yourself to be a commercial artist? Like, what would you define yourself? Like, which which route are you trying to go? Like, you know, it's tough. Um, me first and foremost, um, whatever that may mean. In terms of like the boxes or categories and stuff, sometimes it's hard. But hip hop, you know, in terms of all the elements. Poetry, spoken word. That's great. Um, you know, and I've also done, like I said, theater works, you know, and film. I do like documentary films and work with videos. So that's why like, I appreciate what y'all do because I know it's not easy. Um, so anything that has to do with creative expression, in terms of categorizing, I would just say hip hop in the most fundamental so, way. What future projects do you have? Like, what do you have going on right now? Like, so that the fans can look out and, you know, um, definitely follow you, you know, because I know that, you know, like I said, you know, 
uh, it's essential that artists like you uh, today, you know, um, are doing their thing so that way, you know, you have an educational angle to it. So, mm -hmm. like, you know, what projects do you have going on right now? Well, right now, I'm going to release a new mixtape okay. entitled Native Eyes. Mm -hmm. So, Native Eyes has to do with being a Bronx native, but also, like, a native of land. You know, it could be different indigenous people from all over the world. So, the main connection I'm really trying to make in this project, but also in my work period, is the connection between the native indigenous man, woman, and child, and also the really hood native woman and child, recognizing that we come from these places, but this is our current context. So my work does get political, um, but more than anything, it's just real. Uh, it's through learning, and I just don't talk about things I don't know. I either I experienced it personally, um, or I've studied it, or I've combined it with the work that I'm doing. I've learned from other people. I have mentors that you know I could say I learn from, you know, um, and young people that I work with that who teach me things too. You know, it's not just me teaching them. A last question to you is. Who is the most influential artist for you into kind of the artist? Let me know. If you had to say one in the in the genre of hip hop. One artist? Oh my god, that's horrible. Just one, your top. Bambada. There it is. Bambada. Africa Bambada, y'all Zulu Nation, you know what I mean? So, yeah. hey, we had the pleasure right here. We're in the Bronx Museum. We were at a listening party for ABA, and I had the pleasure to meet my man right here. You know what I'm saying? You know, make sure you check out artists like this. Like I said, it's essential for hip hop. You know what I mean? He's a teacher of rap. You know, there's a long listing, but you know, obviously, sometimes these things, uh, you know, fall to the wayside. You know, but my man is doing his thing. This is a young, expiring artist right here in Takana, and you saw it first right here on Global Music Magazine. Woo! Yeah, man.